Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you three reasons why I believe Ethereum Classic's price is going to skyrocket in the next several months or possibly about a year from now. Uh, reason number one, support for development. So this has been a missing ingredient in the Ethereum Classic ecosystem for a very long time now. Uh, finally, we have ETC grants uh, that has a million dollars that is going to um, disperse to people who are developing on Ethereum Classic. All you have to do is apply for it, follow their requirements, and you may get it. Now, I have watched other chains that have skyrocketed. Um, Binance, Ethereum, um, Binance went from $20 to $600. They had hackathons. They were giving out cash prizes to developers. There were incentives for developers to develop on Ethereum Classic, on, on Binance, my bad. Uh, but there was no session on Ethereum Classic for a very long time. And finally, we have it. Uh, so for a while now, Ethereum Classic, developers on Ethereum Classic were just foot soldiers, people who believe in Ethereum Classic and who were doing it to show the utility of Ethereum Classic, um, myself included, I uh, built a project on Ethereum Classic and um, pretty much any project that, you, that can be built on Ethereum, any decentralized application that is on Ethereum, any DeFi project, any NFT project, any NFT gaming project that lives on Ethereum, you can port this over and run it smoothly on Ethereum Classic and actually pay a lot less in transaction fees doing so. A lot of people don't know this, but that's the truth. Also, Ethereum Classic has actually never been hacked. It's been 51% attacked, but that's different from a hack. The last one that happened happened in August 2020, and um, ever since then, different measures have been in place. We have mess, we have other things, and now, we have this explosion in, in, in hash rate uh, due to the migration of Ethereum from proof of work to proof of stake. Some ASICs do not have a choice but to mine Ethereum Classic. So now Ethereum Classic hash rate is, is super high and it's, it's actually the most secure proof of work chain on the planet right now. Still under the radar because of 51% attacks that had happened in the past. Now those things, uh, not, now that's not even a factor. And the fact that you haven't heard of any doesn't mean that it hasn't been attempted hundreds of times and failed because of everything that's in place today. So uh, security is the number two, number two security. Finally, fixed supply. So the fixed supply of Ethereum Classic, two, about 210 million coins out there. There's not gonna be any more. Uh, nobody's gonna be able to mint any more coins into existence. This makes it such that every coin that you have today uh, becomes more scarce scarce by the day more scarce and scarce by the day and that means that um you know with time once all these other projects start coming on there people would need ethereum classic to transact on there uh, the value will go up so this is the first step that i've seen i think the uh, the amount of money that has been donated for for this uh to support this development is about a million dollars it came from Antpool, Bitmain, and ETC Cooperative. Um, so uh, this is the first step that I've seen to get people to come and develop on Ethereum Classic, and I'm here for it. And um, there's a lot of stuff happening on Ethereum Classic. I'm going to make a follow-up video and tell you all the things that are happening on Ethereum Classic, all the ERC20 tokens, all the uh, NFT project, NFT gaming project, DeFi projects that are being ported over from Ethereum, um, and, and many more. I'll take my time and go through all these projects one by one. Thank you for watching and uh, come back for the follow-up video.